up guys african traveler here again so guys um today we're going to uh, i used this road the other day and i realized it's ready and i thought why not show you guys the progress and uh i hope you guys are doing well wherever you are i saw some requests to redo the road so guys we are leaving kikuyu uh, this is the southern bypass so we're joining the western bypass So this is a 17 kilometer road stretch that stretches all the way from Kikuyu where we are right now all the way to Ruaka and we are going to pass through uh, Wangige, Wangige market uh, so that is, that is the biggest uh, town between Ruaka and Kikuyu so uh, some minor uh, final work to be done like right now this is the bridge you can see we are using one road this side nothing has been done i don't know if it's a land issue because this place has uh, stayed the same way for very very long nothing has been done here and uh the road above that is the waiyaki way uh james gishuri rironi expansion this road that you see here and i'm a bit confused i, I think they're the same company which is supposed to do this side so I am yet to understand what is uh, the hindrance to completion because as soon as it's done there won't be this traffic so this traffic is here every other time you pass this road and as soon as that part is done it could be way easier for motorists and as you can see there are so many trucks using this road and this is because this is the, the turn uh, the main highway where we're going to Mombasa um, all the trucks heading to up country, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, they normally uh, use this uh, turn. So that's why you see a lot of trucks. So, Madhu, uh, Kovipi, Lakin? Salama. So, hey man, I passed this road, there's a lot of construction. There's a lot of uh, final touches that is going on currently. So, here we are at Gitaru. This is Gitaru. So the bridge that you see here is a, this place is called Gitaru. So I'll try and give you some aerial shots as well so that you can get to see uh, the magnitude of the construction as we go by. So I hope you guys will like it. Hope you guys will subscribe. And uh, yeah, see you guys. You can see they're doing some street lights right now. Lots of street lights. So let's take a turn and uh, try and capture the aerial shots from here.
they yet to have the the bulb themselves so it's just the, the first installation as you can see they're also putting barriers on the road to prevent people from crossing from one end to the other Eh <laughs> <laughs> So, Oh, kuna uwanja hapa Kingero? Eh, hapo ndo Rarua. Ah, mnacheza ga game ball? Eh, futa. Oh, futa. Eh. Hey guys, umesikia sasa. So, mnahitaji wall hapa hivi. Eh, bana. Hii si grabiwe hii. Eh, itaenda. Ah, umesikia sasa. So, yeah, vile nilikuwa nasema as I said earlier, the biggest challenge I see is the they are putting right now barriers as barriers are being placed in place. We still need the footpath because what what apita jotaruka barrier sasa. stretch up to two to three kilometers without seeing a place where a um, footpath uh, exists so this is posing a lot of challenge to the residents here so this is Wangige right now we are at Wangige Wangige is one of the biggest markets in this side one of the biggest fresh food markets and it also has one of the biggest egg markets uh, around Kirangani. Yeah, we stopped by Kirangani just to give you some aerial shots.
these places are is Mount Kenya and Mount Kenya is known for the rich red soil eh? uh, rich volcanic red soil that's why you see these heavy high raised barriers to avoid erosion and uh, collapsing of the walls I think this is a badea where we are right now of the barriers being erected here and the street lights so our next step will be Karura so one of the major challenges people facing here is the service lane they're not complete in every other place so in some areas people are facing a lot of challenges as you can see where we are there's a new road being demarcated it's, an, it's a service lane I think it was not considered initially so there was no adequate public participation and uh, due to that uh, there are so many other changes that are currently going on along the stretch. Just uh, some few minutes after guitar we also had an issue where we couldn't see, we couldn't find an easy access to both sides of the road so that's also a big problem around that place. So we are right now at Karura. We have a bridge here. in such a place there's a boarding school on our left eh? but I don't know how the access to that place you know there's no access to that side so I'm trying to understand how I can exit to this uh, small town on my left but I like there's no there's no exit place eh? unless I go down there fast try and see if we can uh, get to see that. Uh, there's quite a major change from our previous uh, coverage. Uh, most of these areas were not tarmacked. The road was not uh, marked. But uh, as you can see, uh, there's a huge, huge, huge change from the previous time. So we'll try and try, I uh, will try and exit the road just to try and see if we can capture some amazing shots uh, as well from this place. So we are in Denderu. Um, around this area, they have a beach. So Denderu, we're here at Denderu is where you find this amazing junction with a very amazing uh, roundabout. where you find uh, this uh, this footpath huh? this is a place where people can easily move huh? at least uh, this is a very busy area and there's also a roundabout so it's really helping a lot so we're heading towards Ruaka and uh, the stretch that we are in right now apart from being Western Bypass is also called Limuru Road this is the road uh, the main road to Limuru town 
So as you can see, guys, there's no footpath all the way from uh, Denderu. People are, are crossing off above the barrier or creating space. Actually, people are creating space between the barriers just to cross from one end to the other. And uh, something that really needs to be uh, in build urgently, you know. Uh, as the guy said, uh, already two people have been killed. Uh, and uh, that is a really, really sad situation. So I wish uh, they can prioritize on building footpaths. Uh, because you can imagine, uh, between the two areas, uh, you find a lot of the people going to buy uh, vegetables or supermarkets from one end of the side, from one side of the road to the other. So uh, you, the people cannot walk for, you know, two, three kilometers just to to buy, you know, in a distance they used to move between 200 meters. So, yeah, I hope they consider that as a... So this is Ruaka town. <laughs> Some changes that were done uh, from the initial plan for the road. So at Ruaka and Denderu, there were supposed to be some overpasses, the interchanges, but uh, the final product, I think after some consideration, they had to do away with them. So currently, in the current phase, uh, nothing major, uh, as I can see in terms of traffic, there's no hindrance. But in the long term, uh, they will have to put at least an interchange at Denderu. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of real estate coming along uh, this road, a lot of new apartments and uh, with a high population, it will lead to a lot of uh, traffic in the area. So right now, we've, uh, that, that is the end of the road and right now we are joining the northern bypass. So we'll try to capture from the other end, we just take a full circle so that you can see how you need to come if you need to go back. So on the left you can lead to two rivers all the way to the eastern bypass at Kamakis and on the road that you're taking right now on that on our on the other left you could go to Karaka town so yeah so to Koruaka we are in Ruaka right now and you gonna Eluda Eludu are when Kazwa is side I mean Kazwa this Moshada. Moshada. Yeah, Moshada. Oh, Moshada. Yeah. Blei barabara ime malizu, ime ndila, almost complete. Mweza sema nini kuhusi barabara? Ime, ime, wat, yani wa sayi wa me, si kama kitambu vile ilikuwa. Yeah. Sayi ime kuwa very busy. Tenu juu ina na kutoka wa mbaka limuru, hakuna jam, hakuna nini. Yani, wat sewe ngeta kutoka na kuru, wanapitia tu irodi. Kwewe ina irodi ime saidia tu sana, sana, sana. Mm. Na one of the challenges about the road is a footbridge za za kuvukia kwa yeah. watu watu wanateseka sana. Eh. Yeah. Una have kutoka hapo kusema hapa unaenda mpaka huko. So hapa yeah. hivi ni kama unatoka hiyo side yote ya Ruaka. Yeah, Hakuna tata... footbridge mpaka Gasharage. Hakuna. Hakuna. Hakuna footbridge. So hiyo ni unaweza wish waike ma, ma, yeah, mapema. Eh yeah, waike mapema hiyo juu. Yeah. By the way hata imemadawa sehemu wengi sana hii road. Yeah. Ime wasa wamekufa. Got, eh, sasa unajua ama boys wanakata hizi chuma wanapitia katikati sasa unajua watu wajazoea hiyo sasa na bado still sasa maboy pia wanaanza kudangia hizi chuma wanaziiba so hiyo ni challenge ingine yeah, so easy as great metal then yeah 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 eh yeah. washa yeah. anza kukata kata naenda hivyo sasa sasa watu wakivukia katikati mm. hii barabara iko busy sana imewa watu kadha imewa watu sawa so we hope the government will listen and uh, prioritize on the footbridge because, as I said, uh, you have to trek a very, uh, almost two, three kilometers just to find where you can cross to the other side. And uh, with that, so many people are crossing beneath the, 
the barrier and as you can see is also the scrap metal dealers are here already you know so and it's unfortunate so so asante sana elida this is gasharage and there so team you can see like this uh it's like an afterthought and uh we i was trying to look for an exit to uh this is karura and like it's really hard to find uh in some section exit entry you know um the road is a big savior to this it's gonna open up the area uh, in a big way it's already opening up the area the considerations that are in terms of uh, having a foot before the barriers you know um, exit and entry points in some section is really a pain to some of the residents here especially those who drive probably those who use also motorbike and uh, even those who walk you know like uh, in some of these areas you find the the, the barriers are highly raised so um, as I was saying um, I wish they consider um, footpath before the barriers as you can see so many of the residents here are suffering so some especially around Ruaka so many of them have to use a motorbike to go to the other side or either walk very far to just get where uh, to find a place where they need to pass or, or some of them most of them are actually using the to a small uh, they're creating space uh, between the barrier where they're using right now and that is very very dangerous especially for the residents here yeah i don't know what you guys think it's a very great project it's a very nice uh, project that is going to open up the area but i would wish they consider such so number one as i said they consider footpath uh, foot bridges for pedestrians and the second part is to the exit and entry in some sections you really suffer to find an exit from the highway those are the two things that i would wish they consider yeah so workers are putting final touches on the nairobi western bypass which is currently 99 percent complete uh, the construction is currently being undertaken by the china road bridge corporation crb and they are currently as you can see uh, they're putting the final touches on the 17 billion kenya shillings highway and uh, to be finalized in a few, few weeks' time. Uh, this is a 14.7 kilometer project comprising of five interchanges at Gitaru, Loakabete, Wangige, Kihara, and Rumeni. Work on the main road are expected to be completed in the next month. So, work on the road is expected to be completed very soon. The Nairobi Western Bypass, which was the missing link of the ring road around Nairobi County, is expected to improve access of markets while increasing ease of business and improving real estate development in the capital as well as in the metropoli. Uh, the road started at Gitaru on the Nairobi Nakuru Highway, linking Southern Bypass in Kikuyu Town and terminates at Ruakaway joins the Northern Bypass. Uh, there were some design changes. The Western Bypass was initially designed as a four-lane dual carriage with seven interchanges at Gitaru, Loakabete, Wangige, Kihara, Ndenderu, Rumeni and Ruaka. But uh, the redesign was done later, asked the Denderu and Ruaka interchange. According to the project supervisor, the National Highway Authority, Kenha, the design review was done to avoid a lengthy process and high cost of land acquisition and to mitigate construction delays that could have raised the contractor's cost. However, they are still pursuing the acquisition of land at Fondenderu and Ruaka Interchange, uh, which will be implemented by the government in the face manner, including proposal proposed capacity enhancement of Rimuru Road and the Nairobi Northern Bypass. So Kenha Director General Kungu uh, said in an interview with the Sunday Nation. So the road has been under construction since March 2019, funded by the China Exim Bank, and the project is the last of the four Nairobi Ring Road that includes Southern Bypass, Northern Bypass, Eastern Bypass. And uh, so key features of the project include a four dual ca uh, carriageway with a total length of 15.3 kilometers and uh, 17 kilometer service roads. 
uh, five interchanges at Gitaru, Loakabete, Wangige, Kihara, Kimenyi. Uh, interchanges at Gitaru, Loakabete, Wangige, so uh, Kihara and Rumenyi. Noise control barrier in all human settlement area as enhanced environmentally compatible highway. So the high walls you see those um, noise barrier. Paved uh, deviation along the construction route to ensure smooth traffic flow while reducing environmental hazards such as dust. This deviation route shall be retained for future use by area residents. Uh, we also have traffic bridges and pedestrian underpasses on the entire length. A steel pedestrian barrier to ensure that no pedestrian crossing occurs at the non-authorized area. A bus park at Wangige to, to enhance public transport efficiency while ensuring the transport congestion is reduced. Separate footpath and cycle track as a safety feature to ensure no direct conflict between motorist traffic and other road users so that's more about the project so guys don't forget to subscribe like and share so guys we come to the end of the road and you can see like from the previous times from the start from the from the time we did the road to current phase there's a lot of progress there's a lot of change and the face of this entire route is changing greatly uh, real estate is sprouting across the road across the whole stretch you can easily tell this is a place that in in the next uh, few years this place will be trans completely transformed and uh, change is inevitable in this place and uh, very convenient to travel between kikuyu and all the way to ruaka this road before the construction it was one of the worst road in the entire country i did the video about the road before the construction and uh, and the concurrent update of uh, the construction progress and there's a lot of change from the start to current phase so if you're planning to invest among the best route to invest and uh, the place is very very fertile in terms of agricultural land so yeah if you plan to also to produce crop you know horticulture this is one of those places that uh, you can invest and uh, there's a very quick access to market so uh we come to the end of our day today so don't forget to subscribe like and share and yeah you can leave more suggestions to uh, other areas where you need to say to to go so madhu thank you for the awesome work and uh, some awesome drone shots from the area so to nashkuru sana asante sana so yeah see you guys on the next one santeni